Beautiful. Beautiful. My next guest is a, a fellow from uh, Sydney, Australia, that's been playing with me now for three years, and he's a wonderful Hammond organ player and keyboard player in general. And uh, please welcome Mr. Clayton Doley. Well, I wrote a tune, and... Um, I wrote it uh, for the, the new CD, it's called Carry My Tears, and uh, I wrote this uh, for a friend of mine that passed away, and uh, the song got me nominated for Songwriter of the Year. say a prayer for a friend of mine wisdom follows kindness each moment passing by no words could serve a moment of her life's breath now I'm left a fortune in a kiss before her death well 84 million poems she wrote more than enough to sink this old boat Got to launch back in a hundred years With empty hands to carry my tears away Carry my tears Carry my tears great moment. I'm going to introduce a fellow I've known for about 30 years and played with on and off for about 30 years. He's a wonderful musician. He's uh, based in Australia. He's uh, learned a lot of African instruments. He's going to bring some of that tonight to, to share with you. And uh, he's a songwriter and a singer. Please welcome Yeshe. Here he comes with the electric pumpkin. This instrument actually is uh, called the uh, Kamele Ngoni and it comes from the uh, Bamara people of West Africa. They live around uh, Burkina Faso and uh, Mali. Uh, Kamele Ngoni means young man's harp. I, I don't know if I still qualify, but... <laughs> you used to. Once I did. <laughs>
Well, I'm living on the mountain, so many miles to feed. Wisdom hastens slowly, yeah, we love what we can see. But I stand between a mountain, a mountain and a name. Gazing down at my own world before it was I am. Sayati Chanto Sayam Sayati Chanto Sayati Chanto Sayam Sayati Chanto Now there's one more fellow that we need to introduce here, and uh, I've known him for a, a dozen years, and uh, he uh, he started out right here in Ottawa, and uh, he got um, he toured with me many years all over the world, and he became a great blues musician. He started his own band. He won all the awards, and uh, he's just a, a wonderful fellow, a great player. Please welcome Ottawa's own Mr. Steve Mariner. And we, I guess we should play a little, a little blues. We, we got all the makings here. I know you'll bear in mind that the blues is not about feeling bad. It's about making other folks feel bad. <laughs> You're on our hit list. And, uh,
out to help me Lord, I can't do it by myself You got to help me Lord, I can't do it by myself If you don't help me, darling I got to find myself somebody else Might have to cook Might have to sew Might have to sweep Mop around my front door But you got to help me Lord, I can't do it by myself If you don't help me, darling I got to find myself somebody else Thank you. 
And that's the blues. That's the blues right there. Well, we're going to invite Kieran Alawalia back now. Please, bienvenue, s'il vous plaît, Kieran Alawalia. So in this next song, I'm asking for a very specific kind of blanket of contentment. I'm asking not just for one lifetime with my beloved, but seven lifetimes with my beloved, yep. Seven lives and maybe seven rings as well. <laughs> this is called Rabaru.
We're going to get Yeshe to sing us a tune. Yes. Thank you. Very appropriate for this time of the year, this tune. It's a, a very different rendition of summertime.
my time And the living is easy Fish are jumping And the cotton is sun Your dad is rich And your mom is good looking So hush me Thank you. Well, we have a tune here, uh, A Love Supreme, uh, from John Coltrane. Um, at the time John Coltrane recorded this song, he was quite into Indian music, and especially South Indian folk music. In fact, the, uh, the melody of this tune comes from a South Indian folk tune. And uh, he was a good friend of Ravi Shankar at the time. So he began to record music which we uh, know as modal music, meaning there was no chord changes, basically, in the same fashion that ragas are, are written and created. So uh, there was a strong Indian influence in, in the writing of this song, so I thought, well, maybe we'll take it a little bit back to its roots here.
Bienvenue, Yeshe. Merci. Well, um, this next song I um, learned in Quebec, actually. I'm going to play it on what I call the uh, African iPad. <laughs> That's actually what somebody said the other day. Were you playing an iPad? <laughs> but anyway, this um, is actually a very old instrument. It um, comes from the Shona people of Zimbabwe, where I spend a lot of time. And uh, my teacher cold forged this um, out of the sprung steel of a car seat of a Peugeot 504. <laughs> it's hard it's riding around in Zimbabwe without seats. <laughs> and the instrument is called the Imbira Zavadzimu.
avec Dijon à coup de poing et au fusil je veux le plus fort dans le pays ça m'a donné que de l'ennui de prendre ce dur et des ennemis Well, I love Jimi Hendrix. Yeah. I always loved Jimi Hendrix. Yeah. Yeah. And as you all know, Jimi loved the banjo. <laughs> loved the banjo. Couldn't get enough of the old banjo. Look, somebody's texting me. It says, Harry, you're a real ace. Does Ace have two S's?
what you won't do Oh, for love Will you try Don't be 